What is up YouTube, Bunny Foams here with a brand new video and today we are back in Oakland and in today's video we are going to be going over all the information about selling minerals and metal and rocks. So first we're going to go over where to find rocks to mine, then we're going to go over actually mining those rocks, and then we're going to talk about how you can use machines to automate the process for you, and then finally we're going to go over a few other tools, I mean it's literally just one other tool called the chisel, at the end. Be sure to subscribe if you find this helpful. So to start things off, we actually have to find some rocks to mine, and that's actually very easy to do. Because luckily they spawn all throughout the map in many different shapes and colors. This here is a rock, and you can mine it. And one thing you'll notice when looking at this rock is that you'll see these little nuggets of ore sticking out from them. This indicates that these pieces of the rock can actually be refined into metal. But you found a rock, but you don't have any tools to actually mine it. Let's go ahead and solve that really quickly by heading to the Oak Store. And by the Oak Store, I mean Oak Depot. <laughs> so at the Oak Depot, you have all sorts of tools you can buy for chopping wood, sawing wood, but we want to go ahead and focus on the pickaxes. The cheapest pickaxe that you can buy is currently the Rusty Pickaxe for $960. There is also the chisel here which we will talk about later on, but you do not need this to mine any ores. Once you have your pickaxe of choice, we are ready to go ahead and go mine some ore. So we have this here, and as you can see, there are some ingots here, and there's some ingots on the side. I believe that actually might be gold there, and then that's actually copper. So what we do is we take out our pickaxe, we literally just hold down our mouse button and mine. But we're going to go ahead and load all of these into our car and take them to our base. And one example of a rock that doesn't have any ores is this one. As you can see, there are none, which means this cannot actually be refined into any metal. But again, if you are just starting off and you don't have any of the machines required to actually smelt it down or forge it or whatever, then it doesn't really matter because you can still sell it. So now that we have the rocks in the trunk of our car, we're going to go ahead and talk about the machines you can buy to actually refine these. So heading over to the Elk Depot once again, we're going to head to the back right here and you'll notice that there are four boxes on this shelf. So these are two different uh, types of machines, you have a refinery and you have a forge. We're going to go over the point of both of these and I'll show you how they work back on my base. But if you want to buy these, the cheapest one is $960 for the refinery and the Rusty Forge is $1,640. If you can afford these machines, great, because that means you'll be able to actually smelt the ore into more profitable blocks. And if not, that just means you won't get as much value from your rocks when you sell them. One other tool I do want to talk about really briefly is the chisel. I'll show you how it works later on, but you do not use that to actually refi refine any ore. All it does is just split the ore in half. By now, if you have the machines on your base, that is great. You want to at least buy the refinery first, and once you have the refinery, you can go ahead and save up to buy the forge. Because what the refinery does is it makes any rocks with ore into blocks of metal. Let's go ahead and show you how that works. We're going to grab this one here, which has some obvious copper in it. We're going to slide it onto the conveyor belt, and out on the other side, we have this block of copper. Now, again, if this is your only machine, you can go ahead and sell this and make more money than you would have just selling the regular stone. Now, if you have the forge, we can actually go ahead and increase the value even more by making it into an ingot. So here we have this copper ingot right here, and this can go ahead and be sold for even more money. These obviously are not the cheapest machines in the game, these are the most expensive variant of the refinery and the forge, so if you have the rusty ones, don't worry, I mean, they'll still work fine, it just might not be able to fit as uh, large sizes of ore as these can. And let's go ahead and show you what happens if you try to go ahead and refine a piece of rock that doesn't have any metal in it. As you can see, this one doesn't, and we toss it in here, and it will do absolutely nothing to it. We can go ahead and do this again in the forge, and as you can see, nothing happens to it. So if you do have a setup like this and you are mining rock, don't even bother to take this rock home that has no metal in it, because you can't do anything with it, and it's not really worth your time. 
Instead, just focus on getting the rocks that have visible ore nuggets sticking out of it. Let's go ahead and make this into some gold like this. We can go ahead and slide it into the forge like that and get ourselves a bar of gold. And one thing I like to do with my setup is actually combining the machines so that they take up less space. If we go ahead and go into the build mode, we can combine this machine like so. And it looks like one single machine, but it is actually a combination of a different refinery and a different forge. So let me go ahead and show you this setup in action. And like that, you get the iron block. And then finally, you have the iron ingot right here, which you can go ahead and then sell for more money. At the end of the video, we're going to go ahead and sell these bars of metal, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to use the chisel. Like I said, you don't use it to actually refine any ore, and it doesn't increase the value of it. Here we have a block of iron like this that we just put through the refinery, and we can use the chisel, like so, to split it in half like this. This might be good for building uh, blueprints or schematics as they're called in the game, because you'll be able to split the material, and you can go ahead and slide it into the forge like this and get really tiny ingots I don't know why you would but with the ingots you can actually further split them in half like this into even smaller bits and that is pretty much the only function of the chisel it doesn't increase the value of anything so you don't really need to buy it unless you really want to split your ores in half so let's go ahead load up the ore we have and go sell it there are two locations that I would recommend selling at. So here in the junkyard, you're able to sell items in bulk, which is really easy because you don't have to unload every single item into a bin. The only downside is that Jer will give you less money for it. As you can see, he's willing to buy our three bars of metal for $1,060. We're going to say no because we can actually take this to the side of the Oak Depot where we can sell it for a tad bit more money, but we do have to unload it ourselves. So here at the Oak Deek, but once again, we can go ahead and unload all the ore and sell it. I'll go ahead and put on the screen how much money we made here compared to selling at the junkyard. Because the game is still in alpha, there is still a lot that can change, and that might alter some of the things I said in the video. If you do have any questions about mining rocks in this game, let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you with a reply. If you would like to play this game, a link to it will be in the description below where it is completely free, and it did release literally yesterday as of uploading this video, so I would highly recommend checking it out. But that is it everyone, I hope you do have a great day, subscribe so we can hit 100,000 subscribers because that would really help and it'd make my life awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!